does one break the status exactly? Well, first, you have to take every preconceived notion and rule you've been given. Yeah. And then you have to throw it out the window. What's up guys and welcome to the Quoche Tutorials. My name is Quaylin and I am the creator behind Everything Quo. The Quoche Tutorials is a series where I intend to help beginners through advanced crocheters break the status when it comes to crochet. Um, today I will be showing you how to do color worked cables and I know it seems intimidating but I'm going to break it down in a way to where you will be able to translate color working into any cable pattern that you choose. Today I will be specifically working with my Melchior Cable Scarf, which is available as a free pattern download on Ravelry and as a tutorial on YouTube as well that I will leave in the description below where you can check those out at. Also, if you are a first time viewer of my channel, please be sure to subscribe and you can also follow me on Instagram for any updates in Quo. Um, the Instagram is at Portfolio and the spelling will be in the description below as well. And with that, let's get into the tutorial. When you are color working a cable pattern and you only have two colors, the first color, color A, will be everywhere that a cable is not present. And in this case, it is single crochets and it is also the double crochets on the first actual row. And the second color or color B will be the actual cables and where the cables cross. So for the purposes of this first demonstration, the A color will be this maroon and the B color will be this gray. I will come back, I will first crochet the first two rows of this pattern in color A and come back whenever we will start the actual color working process. So as you can see, I am on row three of the pattern where the actual cable working begins and this is where the color work will begin as well. As I said previously, every single stitch that is not a cable will be worked in color A and every cable stitch will be worked in color B. So in this pattern there are two single crochets before the beginning of the first cable, so we will do that in color A. So one single crochet in color A, you will do it normally, but the second single crochet because it is butting up against a cable will be worked a bit differently and that will be pulling through with color A as you would normally. But instead of yarning over and pulling through again to complete that stitch in color A, you will actually pull color B, form a slip knot with it, like here, put that over the hook, tighten that up a bit, and then pull through with that color. And that will complete your single crochet there. Then you will work with color A towards the bottom of your work, work two front posts single crochet or front post double crochets in this example obviously if there is a different colored uh, cable pattern that you're working with that has three or four then do that but for this pattern we'll be doing two front post double crochets leaving color work or the color a free in the back so one front post double crochet and similarly to that second single crochet this second front post double crochet is actually butting up against color A, so it will be worked a bit differently as well. So we yarn, yarn over and do a front post double crochet like normal, except right before you pull through to complete the stitch, you will actually take the color A that is a free float in the back of the work, yarn over with that and pull through with the single or the color A. Then this pattern has two single crochets next followed by two front post double crochets and that will be the exact same as what was here but in this case since we have color B as well you can actually crochet over color B to hide it so it is one single crochet and then one more single crochet but as in the case with this one it is worked a bit differently so you will pull instead of completing the single crochet in color A You'll pull the color B, yarn over with that, and pull through with color B. And then you can work the front post double crochets, 
one and on the second it is a bit different the last yarn over and pull through is in color a which you can pull up from the back of the work and pull through so again one more time color a you can hide color B within those single crochets but in the case of color B you can't really hide the single crochet or the color A in the back so those will just be free floats yarn over with color B pull through two front post double crochets in color B And color A again, oop, right there. Color A will be the last yarn over and pull through of that cable section. So I'm going to finish this section off camera and then I will meet you back for what to do in the back sections. So in a row four of this pattern is the back section and it is very similar to the front section in terms of the color working but there's just one difference that I want to talk about so in this pattern it is two single crochets then two back post double crochets and then it is a repeat of that pattern so I will show you how to do that in color A you will be doing those two single crochets like normal again remembering that the last pull through of the single crochet is in color B so you'll do that and the distinct difference between the front and back of the work whenever it is part of the pattern for color working is instead of having the yarn in color A whenever you're working the cables in color B at the back of the work you'll have it towards the front so you'll just let it free float in the front while you work two back post double crochets there is one oop, back post a double crochet and the second remember that the last pull through is in color A so you will yarn over in color A pretty loosely you want to leave a float that is not too tight or it will pull the work pull through and you can still crochet over color B with color A whenever you're doing that and then remembering to pull through on the last section of the stitch with color B. Again, let this float in the back freely, working two back post double crochets. And the last pull through, yarn over with color A, pull through. One single crochet normally encasing color B in a single crochet pull through and the last yarn over and pull through in color B and then you can let this fall freely again so I will come back next with row 5 how to do actual um, the actual cross stitching of the cables okay so I am almost up to where the crossing of the cables begins on row 5 I am right here so there is two more single crochets I need to complete that will be in the same stitch so again still encompassing color B one single crochet and a second single crochet in that same stitch yarning over and pulling through with color B now leaving color A in the back of the work you will work this right or in this case it is a left cross stitch which is four front post triple crochets and one chain in between them with it like this so yarn over twice forgetting completely about the two single crochets that is in between the cables chaining one and then yarning over twice and going over these two cables into the two previous cables like the 
single crochets and the front post double crochets and back post double crochets that we have done the last yarn over and pull through of this last triple crochet triple or front post triple crochet will be in color A where you yarn over and pull through in the different color then two single crochets in the same stitch one single crochet chaining one to turn you are onto the back of the work and I wanted to talk about this part as well because once this part is complete then you will have all the techniques that you need to be able to color work uh, cables so in this pattern it is two single crochets two back post double crochets two single crochets into that chain one space and then so on so I want to show you because right now this is a large um, float that is on the back right here and to disguise that you will chain you will do the pattern as it says in this case the two single crochets yarning over on the last yarn over with color B two back post double crochets remembering to leave color A in the front of the work the second back post and then again on the last yarn over and pull through of the second back post double crochet yarn over in color A and pull through and this is where you can disguise the big float and what you do with that is you will actually go under that float go into that chain one space and also you can be hiding color B with this as well in single crochet over that in this case it is two single crochets so that's what we will do remembering that on the last yarn over and pull through of that single crochet you will use color B make sure color A is at the front of the work and do the two back post double crochets and remembering again I'm saying this a lot of times to get it make sure that you have it in your head that on the last uh, yarn over and pull through of any color that is next to another color yarn over and pull through with the next color and then you can work the pattern as normal with the techniques that you have been shown here all right guys so i hope that tutorial was helpful for you if it was and you do choose to do color worked cables i would love to see it be sure to tag me on instagram with any photos at portfolio uh, this is what my swatch ended up looking like it's a pretty small but you can see what cable color work for the Melky or scarf would look like. If you choose to do the Melky or scarf in color work, I would love to see that as well. So be sure to tag me for that too. <laughs> um, also, you can be expecting a lot more crochet tutorials from me, as well as some sewing tutorials and tutorials for other crafts in general. If you have any suggestions or anything you would like me to do a tutorial about, I would love to hear them in the comments below. Until next time, break the status.